How you doing, everybody? Smoking cigars with Helen Bly and Muddy Slim here on a Sunday afternoon. Today is the 15th of November of 2008. What I've got right here is called an El Credito Pyramid. That's a seven and a quarter inch long cigar by 54 ring up here. Now what these are, these are the seconds to La Gloria Cubana. And if you're a cigar smoker, you know about La Gloria Cubana cigars. I make no bones about the fact that La Gloria Cubana cigars are my favorite. Ernesto Perez Carilla, in my opinion, produces the best uh, cigars ever in his little shop in Miami, Florida. Now these cigars are now distributed by General Cigar. And uh, at one point, La Gloria Cubana, uh, right after they sold out to General, suffered greatly until they called Ernesto Perez Carilla back in to take control of the production of these cigars. When a cigar doesn't meet Ernesto, when the cigars does not meet Ernesto's standards, they're called seconds and they're sold in bundles as El Creditos. The El Credito factory is in Miami, Florida. Um, and Ernest, and this, guitar, this cigar looks perfect. Uh, this is actually made in Dominican Republic, but he oversees the entire thing. I mean, he's in, he, he travels between Dominican uh, Republic and uh, Miami, Florida. This cigar, it looks perfect. But if Ernesto says for some reason it's not, it ends up with the El Credito band and sold as a second. I'm not going to smoke this cigar today. I'm going to show you something I've been waiting for three days to do a video to show you. Now what I'm going to end up having to do is some fancy editing because of the fact that I'm, I have no cameraman. But I want to show you something really, really quick. Inside my humidor, you see La Gloria Cubana, handmade in Miami, Florida by Ernesto Perez Carrillo, a box of 10 Maduro pyramid. Now, let me show you this real quick, because this is a beautiful thing. Look at that. Of course, all those are Serie R number 6 Maduros. Those over there are Hoy de Monterey Excalibur 1066 Dark Knights. I wanted to uh, open this cigar box on camera with you folks today and smoke my very first La Gloria Cubana Pyramid Maduro produced in Miami, Florida. Now, like I said, it's factory. Let me, let, let me give you a little history of the uh, uh, Ernesto Perez Carrillo family. Is, is it... Uh, relates to La Gloria Cubana cigars. His dad, Ernesto Perez Carrillo Sr., started La Gloria Cubana in Havana, Cuba. And that's, that's how you really pronounce it, Cuba. It's not Cuba, it's Cuba. And when Castro took over, he and his family escaped to Miami, Florida. And he started producing his cigars in a little bitty old shop in Miami, Florida. Ernesto wanted to be a jazz drummer. Ernesto Jr. wanted to be a jazz drummer. Wanted nothing to do with the cigar business. But he sold his dad's cigars because they were the best. Eventually his dad got sick and... Uh, Ernesto had to come back and take over the business. Ernesto Perez Carrillo Jr. took over La Gloria Cubana cigars made in Miami, Florida. And at one time, that was the only place La Gloria Cubana cigars were made. 
these cigars became so popular because, you know, people would go down, cigar smokers would go down to Miami, and they'd see this little shop on the side of the street in Miami, Florida, hand-rolling cigars. And they would buy these cigars and bring them back and smoke them. Now, now like I'm saying, this is before the big cigar boom of 1997. All of a sudden, people are getting on airplanes from all over the country and flying to Miami, Florida for the strict intention of buying Miami-made La Gloria Cubana cigars. Um, cigar Aficionado magazine came out and in their cigar review reviewed the Wavel, which is a, like a robusto sized cigar. It was an instant hit. I think it got like a 92 or a 95 rating in Cigar Aficionado magazine, which then further increased the curiosity and popularity in uh, uh, La Gloria Cubana cigars. It got to the point where these cigars were highly sought after and almost extremely impossible to get because of the fact that they were only being made by a few number of people in a small shop in Miami, Florida. Here's inside the box. Take a look at this. Okay. This is definitely going to be a two-part. This cigar is what Ernesto Perez Carrilla says is perfect. Later on, they got the demand for La Gloria Cubana cigars got so big that Ernesto had to move. He stayed in Miami. He still, matter of fact, there's a big, humongous store in Miami right now called El Credito. It's the factory where they make them, and you can go in and buy them there. But he also moved production for the majority of his cigars to Dominican Republic. The first La Gloria Cubanas I ever smoked were made in Dominican Republic. And there's a lot of people who say the, uh, the La Gloria Cubanas produced in Dominican Republic were not of equal quality as those produced in Miami, Florida. Same tobaccos were being used. I just can't keep a freaking match lit. The same tobaccos were being used in the Miami store as were being used in Dominican Republic. The only difference It's a uh, La Gloria Cubana regular uh, pyramid Maduro. It comes in a box like this, and there it says, made in Miami, Florida by Ernesto Perez Carrillo. The ones from Dominican just say made in Dominican Republic, handmade. Same tobaccos were used, but the style of rolling these cigars in Dominican Republic were different than the style of rolling in Miami, Florida. Because the rollers who rolled the cigars for Ernesto Perez Carrilla in Miami, Florida were trained in Havana, Cuba. They were of Cuban descent. Their families were all from Cuba. I'm saying Cuban now. 